I'm Madhul Kumar. I have taken a few questions to find limits at infinity. The idea here is also to find horizontal asymptotes, right? So they serve two purposes here. We need to find horizontal asymptote. And we have taken up a question with, with uh, limits at infinity, right? So horizontal asymptote is when x approaches a large value, let's say positive infinity, and if y approaches some fixed value, then there is a horizontal asymptote y equals to l. Similarly, if x approaches negative infinity and y approaches a fixed value, we have a horizontal asymptote y equals to l. Remember, we could have two horizontal asymptotes for a given function, right? We can have two also. That's what is important to understand. Anyway, so let's look into this question. The question here is limit when x approaches positive infinity, 2x cubed plus 3x minus 1 divided by 5x cubed plus x squared plus 1. So for some of you who know the tricks, uh, they will know that if the degrees of numerator and denominator are same, then we expect this answer to be 2 over 5, right? So it is ratio of leading coefficients. It's ratio of leading coefficients. Okay, now let us see why do we get this answer always, right? So you could always generalize the question, but the strategy remains the same. So let's begin to solve this. So we have limit x approaches positive infinity, and the question is 2x cubed plus 3x minus 1 divided by 5x cubed plus x squared plus 1. So what we can do here is, and what we should do in solving such question is, you take this number common, rather x cube, x cube common, right? In both numerator, take the, the degree, whatever you have, or the highest one, take it common. So we get x cube as common, and we get 2 plus 3 divided by x square, right? Minus 1 over x cube. That's the numerator and the denominator is, I'm taking x cubed common, so I get 5 plus 1 over x, right? x squared divided by x cubed plus 1 over x cubed. So this is always your first step. Now, x cubed, x cubed cancel out. Do you see that? Perfect. What remains is 2 plus, let me rewrite this. So what remains is limit x approaches positive infinity, 2 plus 3 over x square minus 1 over x cube divided by 5 plus 1 over x plus 1 over x cube. Now when x approaches infinity, that means a very, very large number, then 3 over x square will approach 0. This will also approach 0. So these four terms will approach 0. So we could write this as 2 plus 0 minus 0 divided by 5 plus 0 plus 0. Is that okay? So that gives you 2 over 5. Do you see that? So always you will get the same answer if the degree of numerator and denominator is same. Correct? So, so in general, if you have a question which is limit x approaches infinity and let's say if you have a n x to the power of n plus a n minus 1, x to the power of n minus 1, and so on, uh, till a 0, for example, divide by b n x to the power of m, let us say, plus b n minus 1, x to the power of m minus 1, plus so on, till b 0, then the answer will be a n over b n. Remember that. So, if it is a multiple choice question, straight answer for you. I am Anil Kumar, and I hope you like that trick. You can always share and subscribe my videos and feel free to share questions. Thanks for your time. All the best.